All right, everyone, welcome to today's session on, in case you haven't guessed it yet, logic. I'm Megan Gamash, my pronouns are she, her, and I'm a product lead at Webflow where I focus on core capabilities, specifically the designer and logic. Yashinsky, my pronouns are he, him, and I'm a product designer here at Webflow. In the past, I had a chance to work on some of our core capabilities, including e-commerce, CMS, or Webflow checkout, but most recently, I've been designing the user experience for Logic. We want to welcome you to today's session, where we are going to be double-clicking into Logic. Specifically, in this session, we are going to be talking about why we believe this launch will be impactful for you and your projects, and then we'll show you how Logic works in action, so you can see how you can integrate it on your site. As you just heard from Vlad, at Webflow, we provide visual developers an ever-growing collection of building blocks that enable you to bring unique, creative, and impactful web experiences to life. These building blocks are designed to be as flexible and powerful as those provided by code-based frameworks, and their power comes from the many ways in which you can combine them. When it comes to software, logic is the central nervous system. It drives how software responds to different events by performing a series of predefined automated actions based on various conditions. By leveraging events and actions across native Webflow capabilities, and in the future even beyond Webflow, Logic opens up endless opportunities for connecting systems to create more interactive and impactful end-to-end -end experiences. This allows us to combine all the capabilities of the Webflow platform in any way we want, orchestrating and customizing workflows for any scenario. So there are a number of ways that people in our community today leverage logic in their projects. Many of you are adopting tools such as Zapier to build automated workflows on your sites, or you're implementing custom code integrations to create these richer experiences. Now, we have found that both of these options can be brittle when you're supporting a website. So first, they can be overly complex for non-technical teams, and second, they can be hard to manage in addition to Webflow. And this is particularly true if you're working with clients or on a large team. As a result, there is still a significant barrier for who can build more feature-rich experiences on Webflow and how well those experiences can scale. And now that gets to the heart of why we're all here today. We are all pushing the limits of what we can bring to life with no code. By removing the barriers to implementing logic, our aim is to empower more and more people to bring ideas, experiences, and ultimately entire businesses to life. With logic, we're building an automation tool designed specifically for building sites on Webflow and to bring the full power of logic to the entire Webflow community. The benefit to you is the ability to build web experiences that are more powerful, scalable, and integrated, all with the ease of use you expect from Webflow. As you can see, we are so excited to talk to you about Logic today. And we think that Logic is really going to transform your experience of using the Webflow platform. Now, let's take a look at the product and specifically how you will be able to build a flow within your site. Before we dive in, let's walk through what a logic flow is. There are three parts to a logic flow, trigger, conditional, and action. Workflows will run when a specific event occurs. The trigger is where you define what that event is. The second part to a logic flow is the conditional block. The conditional block is where the logic is defined. Finally, the last key part of a logic flow is the action block. The action block determines the behavior that occurs when a flow runs. Workflows need to have at least one action block, but you can add as many as you need. So as Maciej walked us through, there are three parts to a logic flow, the trigger, the action block, and the conditional. Now let's see how this can be applied to a real world example, such as the job board that we saw in the keynote. So for our job board site, we set up a form in the designer to collect job listings from companies looking to hire freelancers. On it, companies can share their information and describe the project they're hiring for. So job opportunities with a budget of over $100,000 are open for anyone to access. However, higher budget jobs are only available to members. 
our goal is to configure a flow that will store job opportunities that are available to members only, separately from those available to the broader public. Additionally, we want to distinguish those member-only listings for graphic design and our web development audiences. Now let's head into the Logic UI, where we're going to set up a workflow that will allow us to route job opportunities to the right job board. Heading into the flow editor, the first step to building a flow is choosing a trigger. As you can see, triggers can be tied to a variety of different events across user systems, CMS, or e-commerce. In this case, we'll select form submission and then select the specific form that we just created. Now, in our scenario, we do not want to treat all four submissions the same. Based on the budget for the project and the type of job posting it is, we actually want to route these to different places, to different CMS collections. So now we are going to ensure that these job listings end up in the right place. And to do that, we are going to set up two conditionals. First, we'll sort job listings based on whether the budget is greater than $100,000. Here's how we'll do it. We will select the conditional block from the add block panel. Once the block is on the canvas, we'll use the settings panel to define the conditional. Now, all of the fields in the form are visible in the settings panel, and we can use any of them to define the conditional. Second, for job listings over $100,000, we are going to add a nested conditional. Here, we will sort jobs further based on whether they are for graphic design or for web development. To do this, we select another conditional block, insert it here, so that the conditional only applies to jobs that have passed through the first conditional. Now that we've defined the logic, we need to specify which actions should occur. In our case, the actions are pretty straightforward. We want to show job listings on our site, so we'll use the create CMS item block to add content from form submission directly to the Webflow CMS. In this case, we're using logic to route these submissions to three separate lists. Jobs under 100K are all going to our freelancers collection. Jobs over 100K, on the other hand, are going to the members only collection. And these submissions we are further classifying as either graphic design or web development. There are also customization options within each action block. So in this case, we could either publish directly to the CMS or we could add it as a draft for the editor to review. As you can see in the settings panel, we're adding the CMS item as draft. This will allow the job board admin to review the listing before it gets published to the site. Now, one thing that is really helpful here is that each of the blocks has an indicator that shows whether it's properly configured. So there's no worrying about maintaining or debugging all that backend code. As we wrap up the workflow, we can see that each step is working as intended. And, this, and if this ever broke in the future, we would easily be able to troubleshoot and identify where the problem occurred. Before we wrap up, let's add one more action block to send an email. We've created CMS items as drafts, but it might be really nice to create a custom email notification for the job board admin to help them quickly review and publish new job listings. Because we want to apply this action to all submissions, regardless of the conditional, we'll need to exit the conditional first. So we add the email block to the bottom of the flow and then choose the job board admin as the recipient. Now we can craft a custom message that includes any of the variables from the form. With that, we're done. Now, this is a fairly simple workflow that we just set up. But the truth is, your workflows could get quite complicated. And this is especially true if you're building multiple throughout your site. One thing that we've prioritized in our visual authoring environment is making it really easy for anyone with the right permissions to pop in and visually understand how the flow works. So you can see that our conditional blocks are a slightly different shape from the action blocks, and the paths help you track how the data flows. This will enable you to collaborate more easily with your colleagues when you're building a site with lots of different logic flows. And that is how straightforward it can be to set up a workflow using logic to power a form submission to our job board that adds user-generated content to your CMS. And that wraps up our demo for today. But before we move on, let's take a moment to talk about where we're going. At Webflow, 
We often talk about how we're building for visual developers who may not write code, but think like developers. If that sounds like you, we want to offer you the kind of capabilities in Webflow that you might find in a code-based framework. And this includes connecting way beyond Webflow. These building blocks, again, are designed to be flexible and powerful. And their power comes from the many ways in which you can combine them to build unique, creative, and impactful web experiences. And for those of you who may not yet be identifying as a visual developer, we also want to provide an easy on-ramp with onboarding and flow recipes that can serve as templates for getting started with logic. As Vlad mentioned, logic goes far beyond forms. This is just the first step in creating a way for anyone using Webflow to build more with all three pillars of software development, UI, data, and logic. Going forward, we'll continue to add support for logic as we extend Webflow's capabilities, giving you more power and control over the sites you build. As we think about the future, we're imagining that with logic, Webflow users will be able to visually build more robust end-to-end -end experiences for their audiences with more ease and efficiency. Now, thank you, everyone. That's all from the Logic team today. We are so excited for what's ahead, and we hope you are as well. If you want to stay in touch with us, please head over to webflow.com logic and sign up. Thanks again.